Let's draw the structure for propyl hexanoate. This is an ester. An ester has two parts. One is the parent chain, which is from the carboxylic acid. The other is the side chain, which is from the alcohol. So this eight here in the parent chain tells us that we have a functional group of C, O, O. And when we draw the COO, we end up with carbon having a double bond with this oxygen right here. This is the first CO. And carbon having a single bond with this oxygen right here, which is the second oxygen right here. Okay, so we have the functional group drawn in. Let's work on the parent chain. This hex right here tells us that there are six carbons in the longest carbon chain. And the parent chain always attaches with the carbon in the COO group. So right here. Okay, so let's draw the parent chain. And a trick to draw this is that you always count till one less than the number of carbons you want to draw. Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's number these carbons. So the first carbon is always the carbon in the functional group, right here. This is our first carbon. Second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, and the sixth carbon right here. Okay, so let's work on the side chain, which is right here, propyl. This means we have three carbons in the side chain. And the side chain always attaches with the oxygen in the COO group right here. Since we are drawing a line structure, we don't really need to draw this carbon right here. So let's get rid of this carbon and the numbers. So this is the structure for propyl hexanoate. Remember, the side chain always attaches with this oxygen right here. And the parent chain always attaches with this carbon right here. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.